Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Quick fade jumping tutorial. Uh, lesson one, I guess. We're actually going to jump straight into fade jumps. Um, what you're going to do is just set up your custom game, get your fade cooldown to zero. We're going to select Temple of Anubis and we're going to start the game. Right, so to start with, we're just going to head over to a special little object, and that's this fountain. This is going to be your home for a little while, so get used to it. Um, okay, first of all, you don't need the mouse for this section. I might move it slightly, but you just need to be aiming here. Now, what happens if we just walk into it? We stop. nothing happens. What happens if we fade but we don't jump at all? Like, don't touch space at all, just fade and hold forward. We go over it. But can you see that little pause where you kind of stop moving? It's right before that that you need to jump. So what we're going to do is aiming the same place so that we get this whole thing here where we jump over it when we fade. About here we're going to hit fade and then very 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 slightly afterwards we're going to hit jump now the tap i get i'll see if you can hear this on the desk it'll sound a bit like this that needs to be your fade key then your jump key not at the same time don't hit both of them hit fade and then slightly afterwards your jump key so we're just going to aim the crosshair here you can do it anywhere sort of down here but let's just be consistent and let's see what happens if we fade and jump. We make it up to there. So, you're just going to keep on trying this. You will mess it up occasionally. That happens. It happens to everyone, even me. And you're just going to get practice of this. What happens if we fade from further back and then jump later? You can still make it. But it's harder to get the timing. It's much easier to do a fade jump if you're doing that fade jump. So fade is very, very slightly before. And again, not moving the mouse. There's nothing complicated to this. You're holding forward. Hold down your fade key. You don't need to. You can tap it, but you might as well just hold it for the duration of the fade. And then when you press jump, just hold down your jump key as well. Now once you can do that a few times and you get up there, it'll feel really good when you first get up here. You can try it from different angles. Same principle. You should be getting the height. You'll know if you've done it wrong because you'll just skip over it. Or if you jump too early, you're going to just jump over it and not get any height. So you're just going to keep doing that. Keep aiming for the center. And uh, yeah, then you can start. Well, you can start doing turns and things, but... Let's learn to walk before you learn to fly. And when you get good at that, you can start having a bit of fun. Why not try it on, say, this bit? There's lots of opportunities around the map. But first things first, just try it over and over again to make it up to there. That will teach you the very, very basics of a fade jump. And, uh... That's it, I guess, for lesson one. You just need to keep trying over and over again. You might not be able to get it this consistent. You might get it more consistent than me. I fail some of them, so... Just keep on doing this. Spend some time doing it. When you're comfortable with that kind of timing of your fade and your jump, start moving to the object. Find the center, and then execute your jump. So say you're in combat, find that center and execute the jump again. Okay, that's it. Just a nice short one. I'll catch you guys soon.